We get the day right this time. It's uh, Wednesday, the 25th of October, five days after myself and Nigel's birthday. Yeah, because it was a good day. Which, in another 12 months' time, will be on the 20th. Yeah. And we'll It'll send, be on the Saturday. Send, thank you, Gary. We'll send a card. Six so years. Come on, I'll come out to play today. It was on a Saturday, wasn't it? <laughs> That's yeah. right. Have Gary, it? Gary has an amazing memory, doesn't he? Yeah, uh, Partly yeah. Asperger's again. So, today's podcast is about independent living. I've got to remember. And what it yeah. means to yourselves. So this is about independent living and what you think about independent living, what it means, what's good about it, mm -hmm. and what possible problems could there be when you live on your own with less support. That makes sense? Yeah. So you'd be thinking about a scenario where you would be living on your own in a flat with not so much support. What's good about that, in comparison to what you're already in, uh, but what, what, what are the downsides of uh, having less support and being on your own quite a lot? Because isolation comes into yeah. it. So I'm going to begin with Mark, since how it's your subject, Mark. <laughs> and what does independent living mean to you? Because you're the one that requested that. Yeah? I mean, you lived on your own, didn't you? So what does independent mean? You, you can go, go out where, where you want. Whatever you want, yeah. Do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. Yeah, I think we're pretty much buying into the advocacy thing here now, aren't we? About <laughs> <choice>. <laughs> we're we do, yeah. <laughs> I can guy in weather spoons and get rat assed and then uh, forget to pay my electricity bill, but that's fine because yeah. it's my choice. Nigel, independent living, what does it mean to you? Well, live on your own. Being <clears throat> well, just. Uh, Sometimes it's nice to be on your own, but it's also nice to have friends around you as well. And but you, 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 well, going from the, you, it's uh, trying to think about uh, doing what you want, but as uh, like consequences, doesn't it? As well. Yeah. So you, I mean, I know she picked up on Mark said about uh, go out on your own and do yeah. what you want. <laughs> yeah. Um, in the absence of enough money and in the absence of the skills to be able to, to, to go out and about and network with different people, you'd probably find it quite difficult. Now, you were fairly lucky, uh, Nigel, because you had fairly uh, good social skills when I first uh, met you. Uh, it wasn't very evident until later on, but you did understand yeah, I think, yeah. Uh, consequences and, you know, the things you could do, the things you couldn't do. And you were looking in that respect in many ways because you've kind of transferred that on in, in what, what I think has been successful when you live on your own. But if you look at what Mark said, yeah, and you two know each other, you know Mark really well because you supported him at uh, Wigton for yeah, quite a yeah. while, remember? Uh, what would you say would be a problem in relation to what Matthew said about he can do what he wants, when he wants, living on his own. What could you see going wrong with that? What might come out of that that could potentially be harmful to Mark? Well, if you, if you live on your own, after a while you, you, you go out somewhere and you end up forgetting spending your money and then forget to pay your bills or your, or your, well, your, your electric bill or your rent. And then somewhere down the line, you get, well, you get taken out of your flat, where you pay your rent from your flat if you don't pay your rent and stuff. Have you experienced that yourself? Uh, well, almost. Almost. And, and how was that uh, rectified, do you think? By asking for... To, uh, going to uh, 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 going to a friend and saying, "Look, I've got this problem. I'm about to get kicked out of my flat. Could you help me rectify that so it doesn't happen, and and then get back up on my, on my feet and keep me flat and stay where I'm living at now?" What if someone doesn't pick that up and that person? Uh feels embarrassed and guilty about the fact they've got into the situation they've got into, they'd be less likely to come forward and tell someone that could possibly help them. Yeah. Could that potentially happen to, to Mark? Do you think that Mark may experience that if he lives on his own with less support? 
What's the likelihood of that happening? Well, You're not judging them, this is no, purely no, objective. It, it, may, it, it, uh, it may happen to you, because well, one day you'll go out and you just forget to pay a bill or something and suddenly someone comes along and says, uh, it could happen. So I'll give you two scenarios. One is, and this is from a recent situation, I won't mention names because that would obviously mitigate uh, things, wouldn't it? Um, Mark's doing it on his own now. Okay. Yeah, in his little flat with his cat and his budgies yeah. and yeah, all yeah. the rest of it. Yeah. Pictures of Carlisle on his, on his, nice. his walls. Yeah, picture of um, somebody else on another wall. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, a picture of Trey on the other wall. Oh, yeah. yeah, and he's in, his, he's, in his half, he's in his half flat. And he has an important meeting coming up, and he's only got a few hours support a day. This important meeting is coming up, and uh, Mark is prompted by the person who's providing the support. Mark, you've got a meeting at 2 o'clock or whatever. I'll be down here at uh, half past 1, and we'll make our way together to... Yeah? That's that scenario. The other scenario is that Mark's living on his own with staff that perhaps aren't thinking that's massively important. Yeah, they'll say, oh, Mark, you've got a meeting at two o'clock at such but won't think about coming in to, to no. remind him. He goes wandering off to Weatherspoons for a couple of pints. Yeah. yeah. Has no idea what's going on because no one's got back in touch with him, no one's rang him. What's going to happen? Which is the which is the best scenario? What what's the one that could end up where there's problems? Tell, telling him. Not telling. They should tell him. Right, but when you then. when you live on your own independently, yeah, there's an assumption that you have sufficient social skills, yeah, and cognitive skills to do that yourself, because <coughs> that's independence. If you, your brain should. Your brain's telling you. Yeah, if I'd to been do. told by someone, I'm going to the doctors at two o'clock, it's my responsibility because I'm living independently. Yeah. Right? So the chances of someone ringing you up to remind you are pretty slim. Mm -hmm. In a better situation where you've got a support staff, it's been tailored to meet your needs living on your own, that member of staff will ensure that you know are aware of it mm -hmm. and if you say oh I'm going to pop to uh, Weatherspoons for a couple of pints before I'm, they'll go well actually might no because no. if you do the meat is not going to go ahead no. we'll cancel it remember that situation yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so when you're living on your own it's assumed you have those skills to do that now you're lucky again Nigel because you've always had those in fact if anything he was more switched on than me yeah. uh, mm -hmm. Harry was supposed to be, uh, oh yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> Clever get. Um, <laughs> Clever get. And you've maintained that, yeah. haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Right. Now, the way you've been looked after, Mark, in the past, I'm not criticising staff too, because that's not what, what we're, we're about. You have pretty much been spoon-fed in relation to your support. Mm. Oh, Mark, we're doing this, or oh, Mark, we're going there, or oh, Mark, we're going downtown. Yeah, pretty much so. Yeah. In the past probably 12 months, you've kind of made your way out and about quite a lot on your own, haven't you, really? Aye. But the work hasn't been done no. that would require you to have sufficient skills to actually write, OK, I've got a meeting at 2 o'clock and such and such. I need to be going to that meeting because it's important with me uh, living on my own mm -hmm. to get this sorted <laughs> out. That work has to be done before someone moves in on their own, if they move in. On their yeah. own, because you run the risk of getting yourself into trouble. No. Oh, Worst case scenario, and now you'll know this because he's been there himself, I, I right? Have, yes. You're living on your own. People know you're living on your own, and they know you're there. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> you go in with the spoons. What they're going to do? Oh, you're yeah. all right, uh, lad. Uh, yeah. Hi. How are you doing? Oh. And you end up because you want to make friends because you're lonely. Yeah. You That's the other aspect as well, isolation. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're more likely to buy them drinks. Why are you buying them drinks? Because they're, they're asking you, you to buy them. Make, no, they're, they're, asking, buy they're them. asking you what you do. What you, they're asking you if you buy, or buy you a drink. Or. There's that aspect, but well, also yeah. the fact that you think that by buying them a drink, you're going to be friends. Yeah. Oh, you're not. Oh, no. you're not. No, no. Forget that. You're not that, friends with them. Th there's pockets of them hang around. In Weatherspoons and other pubs in, yeah. in town, I know this because I mean I've experienced it before. Yeah. Uh, I did a couple of uh, like 
kind of recce's to see what was happening with people and they were just homing in. Mm. And they also knew the day they went for the money to the post office, because mm. it used to be that way. I mean, it kind of goes to the bank out now. Yeah. They knew when that person was gone to the bank mm. and they used to tell them. So they knew that person had money and they knew that they'd buy them drinks. Now that's just one small aspect of what could potentially go wrong when you're living on your own. And you are prey to it because you get lonely. Nigel, when you felt lonely, right, sometimes you'd go to the church people up in uh, whatever it was, in that place I could never remember. Um, what else did you do, you know, to get into company and, and be a part of a, a network of people? Make up pub as well. Yeah? I remember Jack used to say to you. Yeah. Yeah? But you were lonely, weren't you? Yeah, it was, yeah. Now, that's, that's a risk that most people, when they live on their own, run the risk of. You look for the company. Now, if you match that up against supported living where you live with other people or there are other people in separate flats around you, you're not as lonely, are you? Because you've always got to no. see people or meet yeah. people and say hi to somebody or whatever. Member of staff's there. Yeah. You maybe not like them, but at least it's someone there. It's a bit of company to say hello to or yeah, whatever. Not. Yeah. You're not necessarily isolated, are you? No. No. Now, if you live on your own and you haven't got any friends at all, yeah. you're going to be very lonely, aren't you? Yeah. So you're going to go out and look for friends. See, Jennifer's changing the way she's talking now because she's remembering things herself. Right, Jennifer, if we go back to what we said to you some time ago about being on your own in your flat, remember? Yeah. Jennifer actually said to myself and Trey, she was lonely and she's even said recently I don't want to be in that flat. Now that flat's actually a lovely flat isn't it Jen? Yeah? Yeah. Maybe not so much now than what it was before but it was a lovely furbished flat. Nice decor, it was well looked after wasn't it? It was. Nice comfy bed, she's got stuff on her walls and that. But she was lonely. Wasn't she? Yeah. She so was, what, did, yeah. what did Jen do to, to look for for people to get on with and have friends and... I met Lucy. Lucy, yeah. yeah go on, I, met, I met a boyfriend who we used to go with who I don't go with now. Mm -hmm. I just met him. So when your boyfriend wasn't there and yeah. you went out, mm. uh, what things did you do on your own? Well, I cried for a little bit, for a while. And I said to myself, well, I need to sit there and cry in my flat on my own. I must well go on the bus to Carlisle or something. So I just, I just took off to Carlisle on the bus and we're going to ride out. That's really honest of Jen there. And you will also now at some point, and I know this, right, have sat in the quiet your own space and thought, is this it? Mm. I'm going mad here and getting emotional and getting tearful. That's, I really admire your honesty there, Jen. Yeah, I did say. People don't realise that that actually occurs. No. We put people into places and we leave them. Jackie experienced this as well. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I did as well. Yeah, we're human animals and we have to socialise. And Nigel mentioned earlier on in, in, in his earlier statement there, there are times you like to be on your own, but if you don't know you're going to meet anybody again after that time you're on, that's horrible. And you're going to get more and more upset. Yeah. Now, when you get more and more upset, you actually end up looking for company. And this is a classic in, in, in the world I've worked in for many years now. You end up befriending people yeah. that you think are actually going to be your friends. Mm -hmm. And they're not. And they come up to you and say, well, I don't want to be your friend now. Either that. And that would upset me, that. Yeah, or they use you for some reason. Yeah. Whether it be sexual gratification, whether it be financial. Yeah, it's out there, it happens. And that's not me being black or doom and gloom and oh, I don't no, want no. people living their own or whatever. That's reality, that's the real world. It is. Now that is, that side is never talked about. No. And the other side, oh yeah, live on my own, I'm independent and I'll be able to do this. And you said it earlier. Aye. I can do whatever I want. Uh, you can. Wait a minute. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> so you're walking with the spoons on your own, because you're living on your own. Yeah. You've got idiots who are after you for money. Uh, you've got people you don't know and you're standing there with your pint. Uh, yeah. Right? You get a bit, oh guys, no. how you about know this, oh, another pint then. And you actually end up joining the culture yeah. that's next to you. Yeah. 
because you're lonely. Because you're drunk as well. Now remember the scenario with our lovely friend Raymond? Yeah. Oh yes I. Yeah, when <laughs> Raymond, God love him, he was coming home in the evening with cans of beer stuck in his back pocket. <laughs> Canted fridge where he was getting oh, them out with uh, <laughs> fishing line. He wasn't going to clean up, was he? <laughs> yeah. Now well, that no. that is is is, <laughs> a, is is taken from real life. Yeah, that was taken from a real life situation that I actually got involved in, and I, I was asked if I would help out. That was a real situation. Mm -hmm. When you two acted that out, you actually started to get fractious with with Raymond. Raymond started getting arsy with you as well. Mm -hmm. It actually became real. <laughs> well, you can't be leaving that there, yeah? <laughs> 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 Is that me, then? Yeah. <laughs> now, for me, independent living is about being able to go back to your own space, yeah. being comfortable in your own space, having a network of friends around you yeah. that you can regularly get in touch with. You can yeah. go and see them, meet them for a cup in the local cafe in yeah. town or whatever. But when you go back to your own place and you yeah. shut the door, yeah. you don't feel lonely because you, you're comfortable because you live in a reasonably, you know, uh, comfortable existence. You've paid your debts, you've got enough money coming in and you know tomorrow you're going to meet your friends. Yeah. So you're going to watch a DVD or whatever. You don't have to go out looking for, no. for no. people and you're less likely to get into, into trouble. Now that's the, the cold, harsh reality. Yeah. We go back to Max request for independent living the work to be done to eradicate all the stuff i mentioned before there hasn't been done why are we in a situation now where we are looking at mark living independently when he hasn't actually done the work it's got is that to, going to be successful no he's <laughs> it's got to do the work to keep the plaque clean there's that aspect but what about what about the preamble before you get in what about looking at things like this what about the social network? Have you got any friends close by you can go and see when you're feeling a bit lonely? Yeah. Now, you were unlucky that way now, because you didn't really have anybody really around you, really, did you? No. Um, just on that, because I think it's, it's important uh, that you do get this story across now, because you've right. lived it. Yeah? Now, I saw you change when Jen mentioned about sitting, having a lot of cry in the house. Yeah, because I know you've been there. And it's not wrong, it's not, you know, not unmale. It's not like a, a, a kind of thing where, oh, no, you big bloody wuss, you know, you shouldn't be crying your own. It's real. If you're lonely, it's real. How did you overcome that, Nigel? Or did you overcome it? Is it still there sometimes? Living on your own? It's still there sometimes. Is it, is it harsher than it was, or are you getting more used to it now, or...? Well, good. Got used to it now, it's not really since I've been there for a few years now, so... So if, if we removed your now card, and you had to pay for your bus fares, okay. if you took that away, Nigel, yeah. and you were unable to travel, but, and you lived on your own, you'd only have that small area around you where you could frequent, and it used to be Weatherspoon, didn't it? Yeah, rubbish maybe. Because you'll probably know, I mean, I won't mention uh, badge cap, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> but you will have a number of people when you're out and about when you travel that you know. I mean, we've seen you being trail, we've been out and about, you know, lots of people like I do. Yeah. Yeah. You can sort of have a crack and yeah, you don't necessarily want to necessarily have a big crack, but you know no. people, don't you? Yeah, I do. I yeah, know. then you suddenly close that off and you're back to your own little environment, that's all you've got. Yeah. I that's going to be difficult, isn't it? It is, yeah. So that, another aspect, Mark, you have to look at. Mm -hmm. Where are you going to go when you get in a flat on your own? Mm -hmm. What are your options? Well, it might be working, then. Might be working. What are you going to do in working? So you leave your front door, your support worker's gone, they've only been in for an hour or, mm -hmm. or half an hour. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do? You don't know, do you? He doesn't know. So <laughs> Jennifer's time. pretty much lived that situation again. I mean, she was put in a place. I mean, I know there's people in, in other <coughs> flats around her in that same block, but she's still lonely. Yeah. yeah. And uh, whenever she's flatted up to me, uh, I don't see what work's been done to, to rectify that. Now, I mean, I will mention that you do also run the risk of getting into abusive relationships as well because you are lonely 
and then the person you end up in the relationship with is has more needs than you so they need you more than you need them and you're in a situation where you inherit more trouble that causes more problems for you and that's pretty much uh, the classic in this situation so the question again mark if you're living independently what would you do i would i'll clean them <laughs> He's copying off me. I'm lonely. I'm not going to go. I'm just going to clean up uh, and be lonely uh, with me cleaning up. I'll, 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 I'll clean up. I know what I would do. What? I would do from video DVD then then multitask. <laughs> 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 I know that's what I do. Yeah. 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 So what work then? Just to fast track this now, because obviously we could take I'll quite a while. The, I'll do the Uber then. Right. This this is not um, <laughs> an assault on your decision <laughs> to live on no, your own. Sure. This is being totally clear on um, the cold, harsh realities of living on your own yeah. with a mental illness, with a learning disability, or whatever yeah. condition yeah. That, that renders you f to find it more difficult to move in social circles as easy yeah. as perhaps I do. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what work, Nigel, would you think has to be done for Mark before and if he decides to live on his own? Jen's mentioned quite a few that, that she's experienced. You've mentioned some. What work do you think should be done with Mark? This is going to be part of his project along with myself and Trey. What needs to, 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 to be put in place? Because remember that money's not always around. No, it's not. You know, I mean, the things that we identify that Mark actually needs on a day-to-day -day basis, sometimes you haven't got the money to pay for the support oh. for that. You know? No, so it's not just going to be on tap like it is at the moment, although no, I don't think no, you do no. get to uh, that. No. What work do you think needs to be done, Nigel? Where would you begin? Based on your own experiences of what you've endured, what would be really important for Mark to, to know what to do, he lives on his own. You've got, if you're going to live on your own, you've got to sort stuff out, haven't you? Yeah, like, yeah. You've got to sort the bills out and all that. Yeah. Tell people where, where you, you want to live. No, don't tell me where you live because I'm no, coming. No, I'm on about where you start. Oh. Where you start because yeah. you've got, you've got, you've got bills and stuff to pay. Mm. And the companies, the electric company, water company, police, people like that, mm. you've got to tell them where you live. Mm. And you've got to sort all that out if you want a, a telephone or stuff, stuff, other stuff like that. Mm. And I think on. one of the things that I think is important, and yeah. probably this wasn't done for you, Jennifer, which is why you don't feel comfortable in your own space, is working on you being comfortable alone. It's about working on yourself and feeling comfortable in yourself, feeling confident and happy in yourself. Yeah. Because the reason you're around trying to find people to be friends with you is because you're not comfortable and happy with yourself. No. no. And it doesn't matter who you're with. No. That's going to take, you're going to take that with you. Mm. But just going back to... Mark, you yeah. said, and you're quite right, Nigel, about things like that. That's crucial. Although Mark could be thinking, no, oh, somebody else will do that. I'll just go and sit in my flat. But the work I think that you have to begin to do, Mark, and there's, mm -hmm. there's quite a lot of work, I'm not trying to load you here either, is think about, right, okay, when I'm on my own, mm -hmm. what am I going to do mm -hmm. if I feel lonely? What can I do? Mm. Now, Jen's can, mentioned quite a few there. You can um, go out. Well, that was Steve Z. Yeah, well, Gary, Gary obviously, yeah. Music. But, but, but Gary has staff around him. I, I do know. Yeah. I he, do he, he may well not necessarily always like the staff, but no. he has staff there. There's yeah. people there. So you're not actually feeling lonely as such because you no. can go to someone. Yeah. But in your situation, there'll be nobody in that building apart from you. Mm -hmm. So you're sitting on your armchair, your special chair, <laughs> and do. there's not on telly, you haven't got a DVD, you don't really want to go to the pub and have a, have a pint, and you suddenly start to feel lonely. Play mm. music? What are you going to do? Listen to music. Put a bit of music on. Uh -huh. So you've heard quite a bit heard about, quite about independent living, and nobody <laughs> in this room has made. I'm now going to put a contrast in there before we round off, yeah. uh, and that is the contrast as in you share with someone. Okay, you've got yeah. your own room. Yeah. Got like a bit of a shared kitchen and, and shared bathroom. Or some places have en suite. 
where you actually don't have to share that facility with other people. And sometimes I think that's better because I've been in <coughs> some of the years where you've had to share a bathroom yeah. and I don't really like that because you're actually mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. the people's uh, stuff. I've had that same with Weber in the hotel. Yep, yep. Yeah. It's, it, if you like your own space, it's not that good sometimes when you have to share facilities with people. But in the evening, you have your own front door, you can go out and yeah. go and see your friends. Yeah. Or if you get on with this person, which yeah. we talked about, Mark, and there are successful uh, habitations with people who get on together. Yeah. I don't mean a relationship, but just no. two, two friends. Yeah. Watch a bit of telly together, watch a DVD together, uh, maybe go out for a, for a crack or whatever. But you've got a, a premise to build from where you've got like a network of other friends. Yeah. They have friends, yeah. they probably come back and see them and you get to know them as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. And bear in mind there's a two people who get on. So, Mark, yeah. you had that facility, the contrast, yeah. yeah, where you knew this person, yeah, yeah, but you had your own space. Yeah. With your own bathroom, yeah. you could come and go when you wanted, yeah. but you always had someone there who you'd say hello to. Yeah. But you'd have your staff coming in. Yeah. I mean, if you need someone to prompt you with your medication, yeah. it might be they come at 8 o'clock in the morning, see if you're all right, all and right. then provide you with your tablets or whatever. Right. Yeah? yeah? So you've actually got somebody else around right. that you maybe don't necessarily want to see, Yeah. but if you get on with them, you might just have what a quick crack. And how are you doing today, Jim? You know, everything all right? All right. Or George? And they, you know, maybe pop in your flat to see you and sit and have a bit of a crack and a bit of a laugh or whatever. But you can shut that door when you want. Mm -hmm. They can go back in their space. Or you in a flat with nobody else around. Mm -hmm. When the staff member's gone, and Jen's highlighted this about being lonely, that's it. That's it. There's nobody else around. Mm -hmm. Now, that's the bit you've got to get your head around. Yeah. yeah. Because your options for going and doing something are pretty slim. Mm -hmm because you'd be going somewhere on your own. Uh -huh. And I don't mean getting a taxi down to uh, <laughs> Greg's to get two Cornish pastries. <laughs> uh, uh. But your current situation, I'm not going to judge that, because yeah. that, that's, uh, yeah. you know, for whatever reason, people set those things up. But there's always somebody around, isn't there? Do you say? There won't be. No. On your own. No. Unless, unless you do the work before, and, yeah. which is what Trey mm. said when we went to the, well, when she and you went to the meeting. Do that work first, get comfortable on your own, build up a, a network of, of mm -hmm. friends, yeah. people you can go and see and, and visit yeah. or whatever. Uh, get your house together, like Nigel said, about making sure that your bills are paid and stuff like yeah. that. And then move forward. Yeah. Add. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 this is not um, criticising um, someone's choice to live on their own because I think there are situations where people have been successful living on their own with the right work put in and the right support and that's the bit you've got to get right yeah so although we've, had, we've heard quite a number of um, sad stories you know people find it quite difficult there are situations that they're handled properly and the support's put in place and the network is created for people, which is what you're building anywhere now, Nigel. Yeah, I am. Yeah. It can be successful, but the work has to be put in. It's no good saying to people, oh, yeah, be wonderful if you live on your own if you don't know it's that person horrible. well enough and you don't know what skills to possess. Exactly. Yeah. Or if they actually understand the potential consequences of living on their own. Yeah? So there's two sides to that. It can be successful if the work's put in, but it could also be a disaster. And I can tell you to many different people around this part of the world, and at Whitehaven, where it's a complete disaster. So is that a wrap? Uh, yeah. Uh, anybody who wants to comment on no. these topics, uh, if you go on the blog, that is, because otherwise you won't hear it, mm -hmm. uh, please feel free to, to add some comments, constructive comments. I think uh, Facebook. Yeah, <laughs> and then we'll... Um, will hopefully raise your awareness but then you can also perhaps uh, show us another side of it and, and maybe raise our awareness as well so thanks anyway uh, that's a wrap